You want to get into CRNA school and you want to know how a program would possibly know what level of acuity you've experienced as an ICU nurse. I only smile because it's interview season and I'm getting so many DMs about this right now, but it's a really good reminder for people who are working in the ICU that CRNAs are experts in hemodynamics and ventilation strategies, airway management, cardiac. Like CRNAs know more than you as an ICU nurse, like point blank period. So when you get into an interview and they're asking you down to the cellular level, how all of the medications that you are using daily as an ICU nurse, how those medications work, when they ask you about your management of your sickest patient, they can tell, they, they know like immediately, which is another interview preparation like strategy. You never wanna talk about your sickest patient because the reality is as an ICU nurse, you probably can't explain the pathophysiology down to the level that you would need to in an interview for your sickest patient. But it's just a reminder that like in a CRNA school interview, they will push you to the point of not knowing the answer. And they wanna see how you react to being wrong. It's also a good reminder that you definitely need to be studying your pharmacology and your pathophysiology, like in-depth lectures on pharmacology before you go into these interviews. Because yeah, they, they'll find out in the interview. <laughs> And it happened to me too, right? Like I didn't know the answer to a few questions in my CRNA school interviews, but with preparation and a lot of time shadowing, and if you're positive that this is the path for you, it's worth it.